Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again. And I want to talk to you on the subject matter America under divine sanction. Now, America speaks, God bless America. But these are just words. America denies God. She claims to be the greatest nation in the world, the greatest military, the greatest economy, the greatest people, and greatest God, money. She has more millionaires, more billionaires, and more trillionaires than any other nation. In fact, America claims to be God, not needing another. She, along with others, manipulates less organized governments and punishes them with sanctions when they resist orders. She claims that America was responding to God when Iraq was attacked. Not the divine God, but rather America's self-importance. America does not allow the truth to be taught in churches. Only Bible stories and goodwill messages. Any church speaking the truth will be shut down. The greatest deceptive churches are honored by occasional appearances on major network television and an opportunity to support the system or the state. The divine God's greatest command to the entire world is to love and honor God above love for any other, including family, friend, allies, country, government, material objects, and the like. Now the rule of measurement is to treat others as you want to be treated by others. But America has failed at every juncture. She denies education for millions, health care for millions, career opportunities for still more millions. She allows for the acquisition of crime and violence, terrorism and war. She looks after the concerns of the rich while ignoring the concerns of the poor. And she has raised up a people that has more respect for Santa Claus than God. Now God's response has been to call up the weather and give it the marching orders. Go into the cities and towns and leave them devastatingly bare. God has been using floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, wildfires, sinkholes, and others. Earthquakes and tsunamis. These things America cannot control, proven they are not God. Yet, though there are tens of millions of self-proclaiming Christians in America, not one, I repeat, not one, including their ministers, will advocate and commit to peace, to prosperity and joy for every American, let alone all humans in general. If America wants to change this path, she must change her ways, including her social and economic system. These changes must be predicated on the wisdom of those born again and those who know the way of peace, prosperity, and joy for all. For all. The current church movement cannot help. They are slaves. To the system. Those that can be used of God to free America are currently unknown, though they are doing the work already. They are ignored by all. But what is it that God wants? God's plan called for humans to experience peace, prosperity, and joy, to include fooding, food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, and careers of their choosing for every human alive. And that 
more abundantly. It is the duty, listen folk, it is the duty of every born again person to see that the world never forget God's plan by creating God's way instead of the way of the anti-God as we do presently daily. Thank you very much.